I'm Curtis Lovejoy. Welcome to You Can Do It If I Can. Today I'm going to take you on a picture of one of my favorite sports, which is scuba diving. Even though seven years ago I was injured in an automobile accident that left me partially paralyzed from the waist down. The reason why I love scuba diving so much is because scuba diving is one way I can express myself in the water. Now my phone in the water is like a breath of fresh air. I'm in another world. I'm able to let go from the pressure of the world. Able just to be myself. Once I'm in the water, you can't identify me as a person with a disability because the water is so magical for the body. After you review in this footage, it will inspire you that you want to engage in scuba diving. Thank you. 
decided to engage in. And the first time I decided to do it, I went down about 40 feet down the Pacific Ocean and I decided that uh, it was just a wonderful place down there. You get a chance to see the beautiful corals, beautiful fishes, and it's just another world out there that you should be able to, to do what you want to do. Water kept my body out tremendously. It helped me enjoy my endurance and, and plus it helped out tremendously on my cardiovascular system.
is Pasquale Provetera. I am the Assistant Aquatics Director here at the DeKalb County YWCA, a member of the uh, Greater Atlanta YWCA. We are a women's organization, very um, sensitive to the needs of the community. Right now, as I'm speaking to you, there is an uh, arthritis aerobics class going on down here at this end of the pool. These people are arthritis patients. Down at the other end of the pool, we have the special needs children's class, which we have here every morning at about 9.15. I hear the voices from the children of the world that need some love. I hear them crying, crying out for someone that can give them hope.
tendency to get empathy and sympathy mixed up at times. There's times that uh, they feel that I want sympathy and I really don't want sympathy. What I want is empathy. For them to understand what I deal with on a day to day basis. I make more decisions and adjustments in a day than maybe an able bodied person would think in about a week or maybe two days. And I think that in order for me, wherever I go, I must break the ice between people and myself on the cause so they can understand what I'm going through and what I'm feeling at times. Um, I totally believe that people should judge me from my heart, not from what they see. And one of the biggest problems that I do face with if I'm going for an interview or a certain thing, or even when I'm faced with people on the street on a day-to-day -day basis, they judge me because of what they see. And it's not the clothes that I wear, or it's not my appearance. They judge me for what I'm capable of, what I can do at times. And that's become a problem for me. Even though I'm faced with double discrimination from time to time, um, one thing is that um, to be disabled, people had a tendency to put you in the back. And they had a tendency not to make the adjustment of court. When, I'm, when I've been through various types of training, I have a, a degree on a certain area, and I have a degree in therapeutic regulation. And uh, I want people to base me on, based on what I, the degree that I do have, and also evaluate the situation. Not just based on because I am black from time to time. Also, uh, another thing that I'm faced with is that uh, dealing with ego problems. There are people that when you sit down and talk with them, there's an e ego conflict, which means I feel that we can eliminate the ego problem. A lot of things, it will break the barrier that I'm going through from time to time. And it's all about just sitting down and having a dialogue with an individual so they can understand where I'm coming from. And um, lastly, I think that um, coming from a quadrupedal standpoint is that uh, there's things that uh, I know that I can't do, but in public, people tell you what you can't do, and that's wrong. What they should do is just base you on your ability and let you give you an opportunity to do what you have to do. If they give me the opportunity to do what I have to do, I will prevent.